back to the program. As you can tell by what we've done so far on tonight's show, and we're honored that you've been able to spend some time with us tonight. And on the off chance at this hour, you're not completely liquored up. That's a good thing. As we wrap up 2012, and before we dive headfirst into 2013, it's about resolutions. It's about promises. It's about being good to yourselves. It's a three things panel. <laughs> As I see by my non-existent watch on my hand, they are minutes away from breaking their new New Year's resolutions. <laughs> Ali Hassan and Jen Robinson are here. Plus, okay. I gotta say, I, uh, you know, I, I, had, I had a nice run when I worked at Much Music for five years, uh, but Much Music's been on the air for in the neighborhood of 30 years or whatever. Uh, nothing they have ever done will ever compare to how wonderful Ed the Sock's year-end from Mars specials were. And so it's so great that tonight, the star of Ed the Sock's I Hate Hollywood Mondays at 10.30 on CHGH TV 11, please welcome back to the panel, Ed the Sock! Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so yes, January 1st is just a number, but it does give us a chance to review our lives and hopefully set a new course. Thing number one, your resolutions. What should the world's resolutions be for 2013? Well, you know, I think that really it's time that the world community came together uh, in a united effort and got serious about getting Donald Trump off Twitter. <laughs> yeah. If, you, uh, if your arms were visible, I would fist bump you. Thanks for refraining. <laughs> Jen? I know there's a lot of big problems, and I think this one is one of the biggest problems. I think we all need to unite as a world, as a group of human beings, and agree to stop saying, I know, right? <laughs> we can do it, everybody. Does that, drive you, does that drive you crazy? It makes me crazy. Mm. It I'm... makes everything sound like a question in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, I think that the world really needs to be less apathetic when it comes to climate change. I mean, I don't really think about it much myself. Uh, and I don't really know if we need to do anything, but I guess somebody should do something, I guess. I know, right? Right? All I know, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> Me, I just want to express myself more better. <laughs> and what else? I was thinking of wearing a shearling coat and hanging around Ikea. Yeah. <laughs> Diapers for socks? You don't need a diaper, I I'll guess. I'll know that in a few years, probably. <laughs> I dream of being on a television show where you can see the lower half of my body. <laughs> it's worth seeing. <laughs> well, I wish you all luck with that. If it's if, Here's the idea now. Before we get to 2013, we need to predict what will happen next. So thing number two is the crystal ball. What is going to happen in the world of science? Let's start there. What happens in the world of science, Ali? I think science should cure something this year. Come on, science. Start with something small, like sadness, and then, you know, work up from there. I want scientists to go back to wearing glasses again. Enough with the contact lenses. We need to know who are the scientists and who are the runway models. These are important. <laughs> What? What are you watching, Victoria's Secret show? Yes, Lab Coast? yes I am. Trying to get rid of sadness, Ed. George, as per your... <laughs> Check what's in his cup. Ed, the crystal ball is literally out now. Yeah, I brought my crystal ball. Now, granted, it's plastic, but we're in Canadian show business. We cannot afford crystal. <laughs> Sports. Yes. What would your prediction be for 2013, Jen? I predict the Raptors are going to win a game. <laughs> no. Crazy I talk. <laughs> Crazy talk. Your crystal ball is a little muggy. I think Rob Ford is going to get hired as the coach of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. <laughs> huh? uh, but he's going to miss a bunch of the season because he's going to be volunteering at Winnipeg City Council. Right? <laughs> 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 Ed, any more of that? Uh, well, I think that uh, the uh, Dancing with the Stars format is going to be adopted with UFC fighters and ballet dancers, but it's going to end terribly when someone misunderstands the Nutcracker. <laughs> That's a perfect opportunity to take a break. So listen, these are all wonderful predictions, but inevitably you're going to break them. What will your excuses be? That's thing three, and that's next. My New Year's resolutions are to drink more white tea because Dr. Oz says it's fat burning. And my New Year's resolution is more guitar solos on the national. <laughs> Uh, my New Year's resolution is to be more bold. 
this year, of course, where it's 2012 and the Mayan calendar and we're all going to be dead after December. Luckily, I don't even have to make a resolution. I resolved to tweet, if asked. Yeah! Rock and roll, Peter! Here, my friends, 2013 is just around the corner. Hope springs eternal, they say. We are counting it down with Ed the Sock. Uh, obviously, Ed the Sock, a superstar of Canadian television. You can see him on his YouTube channel, Ed the Sock Central. Thing three tonight, broken promises. Imagine it's January 4th. January 4th, all your resolutions sit in tattered ruins. And everybody looks at you like your mom did the day you lied with disappointment. We know how hard that is. So you need an excuse. Think quickly. What's your excuse for your broken resolution, Jen? I made these on New Year's Eve. You can't hold me to any of this. <laughs> I was drinking absinthe. <laughs> <laughs> Clean cherry. Yeah, no. Ed? Well, I, I think I might think that if I was really serious about making any change, I probably would do it immediately and not wait for some arbitrary date in the calendar. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> for the panel, everybody. Yeah. Last time in 2012, we're doing this one. Make it your New Year's resolution to watch Ed the Sox. I Hate Hollywood. It's Mondays at 10.30 on CHCH TV 11. Happy New Year, bro. It's so great to see you. Great and of course, to, to Ali and to Jen. We're coming back, my friends, and we're counting down to 2013. Stick around.